Now to the pandemic and Governor Cuomo is raising a red flag over the information that the federal government wants to collect as it distributes a potential vaccine. This as New York gets ready for new traveler rules to go into effect. I want to use reporter Diana Rocco is live at LaGuardia Airport with the very latest Diana. And Liz, the governor making it very clear on his call this afternoon that he is not happy about these new CDC regulations as they pertain to vaccines, and he vows to fight them. Meanwhile, as COVID-19 rates around the city are rising, these new travel restrictions go into effect this week. Any out-of-town travelers landing here at LaGuardia or at JFK would be required to submit a COVID-19 test result as they arrive at the airport and then again three days later. With new travel restrictions going into effect this week, the governor says more than ever, New York must prevent the virus from coming across state lines. And that means out-of-towners will be required to submit a negative COVID test upon arrival at city airports. First, there are personnel in the airport. Your test is entered into what they call the calm care system, uh, which is then monitored by the local health departments. Uh, and we also have personnel at the airport who could very well stop you and say, can I see your test results? The governor also sounding off about new CDC regulations requiring citizenship information in order to receive a vaccine. Why would you possibly need a person's driver's license number or social security number or passport number before they receive a vaccine. While COVID numbers citywide are on the rise over 2% today for the second time in a week with 593 new cases, the city's rolling positive average is lower at 1.81%. We're obviously at a point where that has gone up in recent weeks and we take that very seriously. And red zones remain on lockdown with 21 schools and 45 sites still closed. The city now preparing for their reopening, possibly by the end of the week. The state says schools can reopen if they Test all students and staff before resuming in person learning and conduct weekly screenings of 25%. That's obviously the best solution here to have those red zones turn to yellow and then the school reopening uh, protocols very straightforward. So that we're assessing the rules, we're assessing that timeline, and then we're going to make a decision uh, in the next couple of days. And on a side note, today is the first day that students who have been learning remotely can opt into in-person learning, uh, but they now have two weeks to do so. As for that travel ban, it goes into effect on Wednesday here at LaGuardia and other ports of entry around the city.